When I heard this news for the first time, I immediately thought that this was Disney 2.0. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. It's been brought to my attention that both Funimation and Crunchyroll has merged together. And so without further hesitation, let's read the press release. Sony Pictures Entertainment and AT&T Incorporated today has announced that CPE has completed the acquisition of AT&T Crunchyroll anime business through Funimation Global Group Limited. Funimation is a joint virtue between SPE and Sony Music Entertainment Japan subsidiary Aniplex. The agreement was first announced in December 2020. Crunchyroll is a premier anime direct-to-consumer service with 5 million SVOD subscribers and growing. It serves 120 million registered users across more than 200 countries and territories officing AVOD, mobile games, manga, events, merchandise, and distribution. The deal provides the opportunity for Crunchyroll and Funimation to broaden their content partner and expand fan-centric offerings for consumers. We are very excited to welcome Crunchyroll to the Sony Group, said Kenshiro Yoshida, Chairman, President, and CEO, Sony Group Corporation. Anime is a rapidly growing medium that entrails and expires emotion among audiences across the globe. The arrangement of Crunchyroll and Funimation will enable us to get even closer to the creators and fans who are at the heart of the anime community. We look forward to delivering even more outstanding entertainment that fills the world with emotion through anime. This is like a lot of news to take in. Now there are some people who are receiving it as a very good thing, and there are some people that are receiving it as a very bad way. So let's start off with the good first and foremost before I talk about the bad. The only kind of positive that I see nowadays is pretty much the convenience. Because nowadays, many companies are producing their own streaming services. There's like Netflix or HBO Max or whatever kind of service nowadays. It seems as though that the list continues to grow. So, it's actually convenient to have Crunchyroll and Funimation into one place at the same time without having to subscribe to like many different places just to see anime. However, when I saw this news for the first time, it reminds me so much of what I call the Disney effect. So what do I mean by the Disney effect? Well, pretty much Disney practically almost owns everything. I'm not even exaggerating either. They have, of course, Disney, they have like ESPN, they have like the National Geographic Channel, they have like Pixar, they have Marvel comic books, they have 20th Century Fox, they have so many things underneath their name, yet for some strange reason, people think it's a good idea that there's like a giant mega corporation that practically owns almost everything. Because Funimation and Crunchyroll are merging together, there's practically very, very little competition right now when it comes down to anime licensing. For example, you have Discotech Media, which specializes in classic anime. You also get like Sentai Filmworks, which is again, modern day anime for that whole entire thing. You also have Right Stuff, where sometimes distribute DVD and Blu-rays but most of the time, they sell other people's Blu-ray and DVDs. So in short, basically the small licensors, who are not nearly as big as Funimation, don't really stand a chance when it comes down to licensing anime. Funimation is basically a near monopoly at this point, and I'm not necessarily exaggerating either, because most people know what Funimation is. Sure, there are some people who know the smaller labels, but when people think about anime, they think about Crunchyroll and they think about Funimation. And so basically, unfortunately, most people are gonna go towards like Funimation or go towards Crunchyroll because that's the name that most people are familiar with. I'm also kind of concerned about this because Funimation is practically known for being a proprietor for putting woke stuff and their anime dubs. What they would do is take the pre-existing material, they dub over that material, then add politics that are 
pertaining to Western culture, even though the original anime clearly has not stated Western politics whatsoever. It's the same thing with Crunchyroll. I mean, they say that they support the anime industry, but at the same time, they put in more money to produce an American cartoon that's not anime, yet they claim to have the audacity to say that they actually support the anime industry. Not to mention I heard that the people at Crunchyroll actually pay their translators jack shit. So not only is the combination of Funimation and Crunchyroll a humongous monopoly in this whole entire licensing business, but also it's a continuation of shitty pay for translation. Well done. Also, what about the international fans for these sort of anime stuff? Now they always tend to get the short hand of the stick because many times Funimation would actually freaking block the anime because they don't have international rights. And so what people have to do nowadays is just use VPNs to find a way to see the anime or if they don't want to really want to do that kind of stuff, they just bootleg the anime from torrents. Honestly, I don't understand the idea of just region blocking something because to me, why would you want to have less money in the first place? Like you guys already know that anime is really big in other parts of the world. By region blocking the anime, you get less money, not more money. It's so amazing to me how so much greed has just led to this point. I just really, really hope, of course, that in the future, all this stuff would just crumble down in front of their faces, and of course, we'll find more companies that are better than Funimations that actually license anime in the West. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.